So 5 million US dollars and 48 million Ghana cities at Prudential and 1 million Ghana cities investment plus 700,000 Ghana cities cash. And Sister Adapa now needs security because she goes to town and they say, hey, Sister Adapa, only way we are 1 million and they are going to attack her. That's what is happening. On Ghana TV, and I'm away. I'm going to be a quiet bar. I bet you, Jah, ne say who videos are. Aye, on a bus is silly. I'm not a pan. He made, and then he made the boyfriend, the ex-boyfriend, the papa, and then Adam made ne maybe a omo kahwa. So I see kapudu ya. I want them. I want to know them. I omo kofa. I did be to talk. Dying. I did be a child. Omo num. I did talk normal. Be brain. E yin na hu video a na e twagu a omo e ko court na e ko di omo asem ya ma nipa mienu bill because omo e won kwada omo e hwe omo kwada nkito a omo hwe omo nti ye ma omo bill e ma ni papa so so bill na eno e na edikan e beto dwa se time asem ni si an special prosecutor e ko honorable sisia abnada pafi na omo ko e na after sika e ye made for yi ni omo aka no spending nyina chi no Omo kuhu sika fufro ho sika omo kuhu ye five hundred ninety thousand dollars and a two million seven hundred and thirty thousand Ghana cedis eno eno omo kuhu no ho no na actually ena sabi tu ya se office of the special prosecutor a frizi onabo sisili abna da pa accounts a ye four accounts a ewo bank mienu a ye Prudential Bank ena societe na Prudential Bank ni societe i Sika omo se omo hu o ho e 5 million dollars e na 48 million Ghana cedis another 1 million e na 700,000 Ghana cedis so 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 e wo ho no enko ni enko tie se de na information ni ba e po adomo chi aka ho asema wo che se office of the special prosecutor no or activity se de e wo ye delay ana se Jackie Apia ana so ye na dia as a person ye celebrity be ana se se Ne yanko tiye information na omu gada ye si kasem na omu huu ye ewo onabu si sili abranda pa ni fi ye no ene ne bank account u diye omu frizi ni nso yanko ni yanko tiye mra ye ba ni yanko tiye po adum oche Search um, of the OSP mm -hmm. at uh, the Abilimpe residence of Madame Cecilia Dapa revealed uh, 590,000 US dollars in cash and 2 million 730,000 Ghana cities also in cash on uh, the premises. Thank you very much. Well, uh, I mentioned to you earlier that the OSP has asked Prudential Bank to mm. freeze three accounts and yeah. any other accounts belonging to Cecilia Dapa mm. and asked SG uh, Societe General to freeze three accounts okay. uh, and any other mm. investments or accounts belonging to Cecilia Dapa. Well, we've just received information from our sources mm. that um, the banks have communicated the balances of these accounts okay. uh, to the OSP. Now, I can tell you that the banks determined that there were four bank accounts in the name of Cecilia Dapa at Prudential Bank. And I have the bank balances for two of them. Okay. One of them contained five million US dollars. The other one contained 48 million Ghana cities. Wow. And these are two accounts at Prudential Bank. Wow. At Societe Generale, there was one account that contained a one million Ghana CD investment. And the other was a cash bank account with a balance of 700,000 Ghana CDs. So five million US dollars and 48 million Ghana CDs at Prudential and one million Ghana cities investment plus 700,000 Ghana cities cash at Societe General. These are uh, the funds held in the name of Cecilia Dapa, former minister for sanitation and water. And, and this is, I mean, for Prudential, these are two accounts out of four. Out of four accounts that have been declared by the bank to the OSP. And they've been frozen. They are all frozen as we speak. And only akwa kuti abano na sa information we eba out in the office of the special prosecutor edibai said debida ono de sa information aba outi enya ono 
ena a day aba out na uh, public no and disregard it and look as a public ni if he sa information na aba out na sa information we no a uh, yeah joy fm joy news media general muni na a publish sa information na office of the special prosecutor trust say the office of the special prosecutor has not disclosed or reviewed any information or details in respect of the bank account of Cecilia Abnadapa, which are under a frozen order issued by the special prosecutor. The OSP urges the public to disregard media accounts on purported bank balance reported to have been disclosed by the OSP. And an office of the special prosecutor, Ura Kisi Ejabeng, Ediba out, Na Eno, Ena Ura. Paul Adumocha or Metro TV. Good evening, Ghana. Or Chese Adia Ura Kiseja B. Ayen, a special prosecutor Ayeno. In Chey Kra, sell the information by my media no, a bra on your investigation in Vie, Sessica Mukohun Woho, Se a Yessica Bain, Se Tissain, Ukohuya, now the Amma media, a bra in Chey Kra, Attorney General Krano. And yes, I did know on the crown and case or the information be the ever out no on farm. My copy say obey investigation every year and sana or the about out. Nancy so okoya okuhu ya now the about out and no entry ye cry because a maybe actually say nipano ye innocent and sana or investigation we are or prove you guilty and unti a dnt and our the information ever out a brown investigation every year and the uncle na yango ti rap wad much and in some our can watch a say a cobana sa no ama honorable cecilia brother pa nature so here security because we bet me a prano cry or co public space be a nice opia Continue. We be team cry prano. Yanko yanko ti ura po adum ochre emra. No no no. Far from that. We're not against Kisi Ajabi. Far from that. I think he's getting some very bad advice. Because I know him. I think he's getting very very bad advice. This is not how to do your work. So you do nothing. Then now you come. In a directional advice, the, that advice that Attorney General gave to CID, Kisi Ajabi could have procured and produced the same reports. After going to set the house and telling media that you set the house for five hours, which he says he didn't, he says he didn't tell media that. Today we'll come to something else about OSP's office and its relationship with the media. There's a person in OSP's office who is leaking information to the media. That is very wrong. And these are the people who are giving Kisaj Abin the bad advice. And he's not listening to good advice from Martin Amidu. The criminal justice system doesn't work like that. Because the fundamental principle of the Anglo-Saxon common law is innocent until proven guilty. You see all the work Attorney General has done. Have you seen him say anything about it? Have you ever seen the Attorney General with camera anywhere? But this is the work he's done. And OSP is now relying on Attorney General's work to now say, I've seen. So he, there he goes, he folds his arms. He's there, I see something on media. Hey, then he goes to do charade. Then he redraws again. Then Attorney General says, okay, let's get the work done. Bring me the docket. DPP, come, let's study the docket. Study the other part. What, what do you think? Then they write a cogent advice out to the, uh, the, 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 the CID people. And then the CID is responding to the advice based on that. They, they delist some of the accused persons. They arrest more people. And the process is going on. Then you come and as the general has done his process, no? You say, hey, I'm going to court to seize the account. Why? In a directional advice dated 31st July, the Attorney General directed the Director General of Criminal Investigations Department of the Police to investigate the true ownership and sources of the amounts reportedly stolen from the residents of the respondent hearing to enable the Attorney General to take comprehensive decision. Attached and marked as Exhibit OSP2 is a copy of the Attorney General's directions. My goodness. My goodness. You are using the Attorney General's directions to go and seize accounts. Why? Is, it that, is this a money, money matter? Is it a money, money matter? Do the work. This thing Attorney General has done, you could have done. You went to take cameras there to go and show that you are doing the work. You took camera and drone and called Joy FM that they should come. You can't do the work. This what the Attorney General is doing is the work. That is the work. Do it. Don't be doing camera. Don't, don't be following. Don't get crowd be following you. And, put, and Sister Adapa now needs security. Because she goes to town. They say, hey, Sister Adapa, on the way we are at one million. And they are going to attack her. 
That's what is happening. Because of the very work of the OSP, which he hasn't stopped. Today again, today he did it again. The leakage to Joy FM, I'll come to that. Today he did it again. You are not doing the work. All you are looking for, go and play football and score goals for Black Stars and get that. It's, that's what you do. You, there are you. We're number 10. Go to the field. Or you can be Tiwa Savage, or you can be Davido, or Shatawali. Release some song. Sakodye. Yes, you are a star like that. But you are a prosecutor. Your work is not about stardom. Your work is about substantial substance. That's what prosecutors do. do you don't ever see them. So you won't do the work. When attorney general does the work, then you take attorney general's work, say, I've gone to see this other person. Then everybody's saying, oh, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, Civil society. Oh, OSP has done a good job. He has seized his ladder pass account. Oh, that's what he's looking for. And I don't know whether they think all of us are so gullible that we cannot see that this guy is not working. He's not doing the work. Charles Sedu Boahin's matter was referred to OSP one year ago. Where is the report? Where is it? Ask him. One year ago, President referred Charles Sedu Boahin's matter to him. Charles Sedu Boahin was seen in an announced video collecting money. He denies wrongdoing. The president asked him to leave his government. He did. President said, OSP should look at it. One year, 12 months, 12 calendar months, zero. Next thing we know, since the other past matter has come, oh, I'm going to arrest the camera, video, drone. Then, zero. Then attorney general does the work. Then you come and take the attorney general's work. Oh, I've gone to garnish accounts. And civil society cannot see through this. Civil society cannot see through this. To tell the OSP that chief, sit down and do the work. Taxpayers are paying you. Taxpayers are not paying you for this charade. Driving around with motor kid and four or five cars. No, no, taxpayers are not interested in that. They are interested in the work that you are doing. Where is the work? The guy is not even doing the work. He is not doing the work. When attorney general does the work, then he comes to take it and says, I've gone to see his account. And then he, he, even, he stays there. Okay, he has, he has marked the attorney general's document as his exhibit. Ah, can you imagine that? Where, what is this? You see, viewers, we are building a society. So it's not against anybody. It's not for or against anybody. The people who have the responsibility of the state should be seen to be doing their work correctly. The people who have a responsibility to report, like me, should be seen to be doing their work. The people who have any type of work to do should do their work. You don't sit down, come and do media, 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 and then nothing. No interview. You've interviewed the rapper. Where is the report? What investigations have you co co conducted? What are your um, uh, initial observations? The OSP. You've been to the rapper's house. You said you spent five hours counting money. What are your initial observations? Where are they? Where is it? It's not there. Okay. Let's move on. This directive affirms the reasonableness of the investigation being carried out by the OSP as the sources of the large cash sums of money associated with the respondent herein. What is the meaning of this paragraph? <laughs> what, well, let's go back. What does it mean? <laughs> it says, the attached is a copy of the Attorney General's directions. Okay. This directive, the Attorney General's own, affirms the reasonableness of the investigations being carried out by the OSP. Who said the OSP's investigation is not reasonable? Nobody has said that. So he's relying on the Attorney General's work to now justify his work. Can you understand that, viewers? This is his own document. Oh, I didn't bring it. And when they bought they didn't even read it well. Somebody should have told them that this your document is not correct. Oh. It, it is indicating something against you. This is their own document. That the reasonableness of their investigation is justified by the Attorney General's work. Why? What is this? Let's get serious in this country. Let's get very, very, this OSP office. It's not a joke. It's not some joke, some charade for some group of people to be parading around with camera, camera, camera and, and talking. You don't do any work. Attorney General does the work, then who will you jump inside? Okay, let's get to the uh, Attorney General's document so that people will understand. I didn't need to bring it out but, uh, because OSP referred to it. But let's give me, the, uh, could you give me the Attorney General's document very quickly so that people will understand it. Okay. Cecil Adapa also mentioned, this Attorney General's advice, Cecil Adapa also mentioned amounts of 200, 300 as having been stolen from the room without indicating who, uh, who the amount of money belonged to. We have observed that the 200,000 and 800,000 has been lumped together in one count on the charge sheet as belonging to Cecil Adapa. It is important for the police to conduct investigations into 
the true ownership of the amounts of 200 and 300,000, the sources from which the established owners of the amounts of 200 and 300,000 euros acquired the money. This is what the Attorney General wrote to the police. And based on the Attorney General's advice, OSP says, I can now go and seize her accounts. Not on my own work. How difficult is this work that Attorney General did? How difficult is it? He called for the docket and took the docket. He didn't invite any camera into his office. When he was going for the docket or when they were bringing the docket, no camera followed anybody. All of us were in our offices working. We didn't know that the CID had gone to Attorney General. We saw it in graphic. The CID says, we are turning the docket to Attorney General. Attorney General took the docket, did the work, and responded to the CID, go this way. Since then, since the Attorney General, that the effect of the Attorney General's work is that somebody who was being prosecuted, Attorney General thinks that you can't prosecute this person. He's a Ghanaian. He has his rights. What are you prosecuting him for? He was sitting there. His daughter brought him money. How do you say that he's a conspirator? What has he done? Take him out. The police say, yes, sir. We agree. We take him out. Then they look. In fact, up till now, the two people that they have arrested, you know, they have not even told us who they are. And they have not told us why they arrested them. They don't need to tell us yet because it is an investigation. It doesn't need to be on TV. The attorney general very well knows that they've arrested two people. If I knew, I'm sure he knew before they arrested them because they discussed it. Has, has he come to say, press conference, put on the light, camera, everything. I, the attorney general, have arrested two more people from the Sicilia da Palmata. Put it on Joy Online. Put it on Ghana Web. Is that what he's been doing? You, special prosecutor, you don't even do the work. Then when attorney general has finished the work, then you come and have gone to seize that past account and civil society are praising him. I heard it on radio. Civil society, they are praising him. They don't even, they are not even looking at it. Franklin, could you please? You are very intelligent. Look at this well. Look at the, the special prosecutor and his modus operandi. Look at it and find something to tell him so that we can move together as a society correctly. That's what we need to build. Some people look at Christy Prats at 70. They've built so much for us to come and take over. We should build something better. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Frankly, Kuchu, I'm calling on you because I know you and I know your heart and I know your mind. Tell the special prosecutor he should do the work. And stop taking the attorney general's work and come back and come and do a public thing. He did, when he does something small, he sees the accounts, wah, the whole world must know. You can go and see that person without the world knowing. Without the world knowing. Because she's innocent until proven guilty. We have to you see, you can say all you want to say. If you're a viewer and you don't like and your political destiny is affected, you can say that. But think of Cecilia Dapa as your uncle. Think of Cecilia Dapa as your mother. And if we don't stop this, it will be happening all over. People's innocence until proven guilty will be bastardized in this country. And we are a common law country. We are a society of laws, of a constitution. And no less a person than the special prosecutor, himself an expert in criminal law. He is telling us he doesn't understand innocent until proven guilty. You are a criminal law expert. Mrs. Henry Tamesa of the Supreme Court, did that sit well with you? Doesn't sit well with you. That criminal law expert, you are prosecuting and your cameras are there. What happened to innocent until proven guilty? What happened to that? Special prosecutor should stop that. Should do the work. Do the work. Stop the media charade. Should stop that. Oh, I'm watching. And I can say, I watch it in Simu and Sika Semino. Ah, or the Attorney General, and in Samuel Cosunina Abanona or such a more or chess, even. Martin Ami Dukura MP at Adia Office of the Special Prosecutor and Ayen because Ono Angasano Osusu se Ese Special Prosecutor and Ayen investigating no and Unti Sa Ena Martin Ami Du Troy Unti Wache Mo Ache Ese the Office of the Special Prosecutor and Ayen I Ese Obeso Oye Ti Se Dileu Obeso Oye Ti Se Na Diabuari Obeso Oye Ti Se Jacky Apie O Opefe Mo Se Senyo Oye Ya No Din Se Na Ba Bonti Ami Yen Husa Se Oye Jumo Se Senyo Yenko Ni En San Kuti Po Adum Oche now there is the Joy FM part of it. This morning, this afternoon, Joy FM reported that sources close to the special prosecutor, and we know who that source is. We are clear about it. He knows we know, we know he knows, he knows we know, we know he knows, he knows everybody knows we know who it is. Okay, no problem. We do innocent until proven guilty, so we don't mention his name, but we know who it is. Office of the special prosecutor, somebody. We can't say that it's with the knowledge of Kisia Jabin. We can't say. We can only guess and speculate it. 
Now, he gives information to Joy FM about the content of the accounts that have been seized by Office of the Special Prosecutor. And he actually gets it wrong. Not just that he gets it wrong, he exaggerates it. I've never seen a prosecutor exaggerating facts. What is, what is their motive? Do they have a motive? So Joy FM reports that, what, 25 million, some humongous, $5 million, something like that. $5 million was found in Sir Adapaisa. It is false. Totally false. Then in the evening, Joy FM comes back and says, oh, it is all the money in the, that has run through the accounts they are talking about. They are not talking about account today. Without telling us how old is the account, according to what we are hearing, the account is 25 years old. 25-year-old accounts. You state a figure, 5 million, that, hey, 5 million was found in the past account. Then you come back and say, oh, uh, the money, you know, it's not there today. It is the money that has run through the whole account. The question all of us journalists, civil society should be asking, how long has the account been running? 25 years. And they don't even, and, and Joy FM are quoting sources at OSP. Why is OSP, why on earth is OSP telling a radio station that we have seized, in fact, the account that you have seized, you have to go to court to ground the legitimacy of that exercise. You need to go to, you know that the law, your, the law that sets you up as OSP says that you need to go to court to ground the legitimacy of this exercise. You have 14 days within which to do so. If within 14 days you can't do that, you have to leave the person's account. And then you go and ground, uh, seize an account like that and you are telling Joy FM. I mean, everybody was angry this afternoon. And that's why the OSP issued that statement at 4 o'clock. We'll look at it. That is his statement used at 4 o'clock because everybody was calling him and saying, Kissy, what is wrong with you? That's what everybody was telling him. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? And I can tell you, he knows I know they know everybody was calling him. Everybody was up, up, outraged from the Ghana Bar Association to judges. Now, what is wrong with this guy? What is this? Why is Joe FM talking about accounts that you have seized? So, at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, I'm there then. They say, have you seen the statement? I say, I've seen, I've seen it, I've seen it. Then Koku calls me. Ah, boss, he has issued. I said, but why won't he issue a statement? Everybody is shouting at him. What is this kind of behavior? What behavior is this? Office of Special Prosecutor. What is this? What is this? The whole country, anybody who knows any law at this afternoon, after the 12 o'clock news, was outraged. Totally outraged. People were calling board directors of Joe FM. People were calling board directors of TV3. People were calling chairman of TV3, chairman of Joe FM. What is this? What is going on? And then Joy FM said, ah, but we, we are there and uh, OSP brought us the filler. So we will use it. OSP's office. That is why Martin Amidu says OSP's office should be investigated. That's why Martin Amidu says that. That the OSP's office should be investigated. How can OSP go and block accounts? And then the matter is going to court next week. Why should anybody even know? Why should general public know? Yes, you can tell the attorney general. You work with him. You can call the attorney general. Attorney general. Charlie, we have had to block the guy's, madam's account. Oh, but we'll go to court next week for it. You say, okay, that's fine. You can tell interior minister. You can tell the big people. You can tell everybody. But you don't go and put it on Joy FM News. And it is Joy FM quoted sources at the office of the special prosecutor. Shouldn't he stop doing these things? You, you take the media, go and roam about his ladder past house. We talk about it. You don't stop. You, you don't do any work. He's done nothing. Nothing. Zero work. Zero. Zero. He hasn't done anything. He's sitting as a somewhere. Attorney general goes to write something. Ah, he picks it. We are going to see his account. Then that one too is gone public. You are going to see his account. You are telling Joe FM that, oh, no, we see the account. We saw $5 million inside. The Office of Special Prosecutor. No, 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 no. Zero no. Okay. Martin Amido criticizes OSP on leaking info to the press. Let's look at it. This is old, though. This is not in reaction to the name. The Martin Amido says, the OSP itself needs to be investigated for the criminal offense of breach of confidentiality under Section 74 of Act 959. Thank you, Martin. Inside the OSP's Act, there's a confidentiality section, 74, gross misconduct, and the sources of the alleged leak leakages and earth in the interest of national security, the safety and protection of the fundamental rights of citizens 
who may appear before the OSP in the future. It is for this purpose that Section 74, 1 and 2 of Act 959 criminalize the giving out of information that comes into the possession of an authorized officer in the performance of his functions under the Act to summary conviction to a fine. In fact, please, we should report this to the police. They should prosecute the guy. The guy who took the information to Joy FM. Martin Amidu says, we could find section 74 for me. Let's read it. Section 74, 1 and 2. We should prosecute them. That's why I like laws. The laws take care of everything. You see, I was here ranting. I didn't know that the law has taken care of it. They should be prosecuted because it makes sense that when you are working at the OSP and information comes to you, don't give it to Joy FM. Why do you do that in Ghana? What is wrong with the OSP's office? What is wrong with them? What is going on? Civil society, you saw this. And you were applauding because we all want to do sensationalism. Yachino, Yachino. So you were applauding. Civil society, you should be worried. Civil society should be worried. This is the OSP. This is how the OSP behaves. This is how the OSP conducts business. Everybody shouted on him this after. You see the statement he brought that he didn't tell. You didn't tell Joe FM what? Joe FM are quoting your sources. Section 74, we are going to pursue it. 74, 1 and 2. They should deal with them. It criminalizes the giving out of information that has come into the possession of an authorized officer in the performance of his. And it is a his. It's a man. I'm giving you the man. The guy there is a his. So he's there. In the performance of his functions under the act. To summary conviction. To a fine or an imprisonment of not less than one year. And not more than two years or both. This is how serious the OFC's act takes this leakage of information. And you sit down and go and give it to Joy FM. And we know the modus, how it happened. We know it. We know everything. And if you are watching me, please, Joy FM have told the story. Because security people have spoken to them. And you may be in trouble. Stop behaving like that. You're a lawyer. What's wrong with you? Are you not a lawyer? What's wrong with you? Joy FM have been asked that, where did this come from? And they have said it. They are doing their work. Then you are chasing them with information. That they should go and publish like a pass account. You are chasing them with it. What is wrong with you? Is that how to do the work? What is wrong with you? Please, 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 please don't do that again. Don't ever do that again. Do your work. Elibi, I'll come to it. Do your work. Just do your work. If you find Slada Pai is guilty, you prosecute her. No problem. But this way, all Ghanaians were part of passing this Act 959. All Ghanaians were part of it. Should we allow a certain group of people to bastardize the act, to violate it for their personal selfish interest, their selfish evil interest? Should we allow them to do that? Didn't all Ghanaians pass the act? What is wrong with you? You sit in special prosecutor's office, then you are chasing Joy FM with information that has come to you uh, in your possession because you are an authorized officer of the special prosecutor's office. Information that's come to your possession, then you go and give it to Joy FM. Not that they are asking you, you are chasing them with it for their news. This matter will pursue it. They should behave well. You are sitting down, your act is saying you can't do something, and you do it. And then you are chasing the part that she's a thief. You, your act is sitting in front of you. It says you cannot do something. You are doing it. Oh. The Ghana Police Service should, as a matter of urgency and fairness, investigate the sources of the alleged leakages. They are investigating, Martin. Don't worry, they are investigating the alleged leakages as mandated by Section 74 of Act 959. As the special prosecutor will have to be subject of this investigation himself to establish which authorized officers committed the offenses. The police cybersecurity department is capable of tracing the sources of the video and the publications on social media. Martin, you've gone too far. As for this one, it's not even video. The guy ran to Joy FM that get, get, get the story, get it. He ran there, giving it to them. And it turned out to be false as well. Then in the evening, there's a correction. That, oh, the amount that they said was in the past account is not the amount of today. It's, it's, it's the account, amount that had run through the whole account. So when I heard it, I just called and said, how many years is this account? 25. So they come and mention an amount of money that has run through the account for 25 years. And they see that this is the money in the past account. People are, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, crown four. that's all okay. But you are violating innocent until proven guilty. Can't do that. The laws don't allow that. England will never do that. I mean, why? Okay. Let's get to the um, the concluding part of our work. Let's get to the concluding part. I, I've spoken about the Joy FM, and I've spoken about Martin Amidu. Let's see the OSP's letter. 
The new one that he brought at 4 o'clock. After everybody was shouting on him that what is the meaning of this? Uh, 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 please put it on. Okay. Uh, I, I, it says two hours here, but I don't know what time he got it. Public notice. Okay. Public notice. The office of the special prosecutor has not disclosed or revealed any information or details in respect of the bank accounts of Cecilia Abnadapa, which are under a frozen order issued by the special prosecutor. The OSP urges the public to disregard media accounts on purported bank balances reported to have been disclosed by the OSP. He was running away. You, you can see that everybody called him. Everybody was angry. A high court judge called me and said, Papa, why are you sitting down for this to happen? What is the meaning of this? Is that how I want to run this country? You are Kufado who says that he is a lawyer and this and that and that. He's, he's a distinguished lawyer sitting over the country and OSP is just violating every law. I was listening to Joe FM and I froze. I said, my Lord, <laughs> we'll have to deal with it. He said, ah, but what is that? So the calls were flying every. I'm sure his phone was cracking. And every time he picked the phone, everybody was attacking that. You see, you can't do that. So he comes to write this at 4 o'clock. After Joe FM's 12 o'clock news, he comes to write this at 4 o'clock. Office of Special Prosecutor has not disclosed. Go and ask your man. He took the thing to Joe FM that they should do it. Ask him. He did it. He did it. It was him who did it. That man in the office of the special prosecutor. He did it. Office of the special prosecutor has not disclosed or revealed any information or details in respect of the bank account. You haven't revealed where did the five million come from? Where did the five million come from? If you haven't revealed it, the same thing. When he did the video, then he came and said, Office of the special prosecutor has not told anybody this. They leak the thing, then they come and talk. They are, they are leaking. It's, the, it's them. They have been leaking it. They leak it. Why are they leaking it? What is the motive? It is the propensity for stardom. And that's why I say that you're not Jackie Appiah, you're not delay, you're not this, you're just do your work. Do your work. Please. We don't like that. Yeah, Ojo. What's on this channel? Okay, anyway, I'm check Clemens and Frau. Kaish! A soon top top send party, Jack. Mama, we are saying, can you? Hey, remember that? Offer, Pacha, Mama, and Frau. You know what you have to say? Masuya, yes, no, no, no. Not there. So, baby, I'm a tear to me. And I'm a fast and demiska. I think I want to see your business in a procured discount. Oh, you're the buyer, and so I'm a quay. I won't send me bray. I feel quite a move with some transaction or order. Ah, Debbie. And catch you, catch your offer, say, on download tap tap send. So download tap tap send that or send this camera wire. I better send mobile money and our bank account to simple. Tap tap send. Yeah, tap tap send. Now, okay, tap tap send it here. We are safe another baby, we are so what Europe and South America, Canada. So, cry Android, so cut iPhone, and once I download the app, not too full. So, in the process, maybe I'll say, we'll promo code A at the end. Now, I'll go on Ghana, Asher, a bus out automatically. No, yeah, chow five pounds and a five euros, and we are more and more Europe. So America and Canada, yeah, chow, eh, yeah, ten dollars for free. Oh, send this cancel, yeah, two way. Tap tap send it here, no fee. Hey, they just say okay, yo. Tap tap send. Pop, 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 pop,